Welcome back everyone. Today we are doing a little bit of an Arduino project. Just a real simple thing here. I want to show how to hook up one of these uh, LIS, whoops, sorry, LIS 3DH accelerometers from Adafruit. And they're about $4.95. These are a 24816G. So uh, really pretty decent. They, they seem to do the job. So we have this, and we have our standard issue, you know, I, Arduinos through the ages here. So, but what uh, what I want to do though is I uh, lately have been using a lot of these Pro Minis. So this one here is one of the one of the clones you can get on Amazon. I think I get about five for fifteen or twenty dollars, or they're basically you know about five, four to five dollars a piece, which is pretty freaking amazing and and, and uh, in comparison to the older you know few years old pro trinket over here right and then another one that I got look at this in here so this is essentially the same thing but as you can see so this one is the pro micro so by the way if you're buying these things make sure that you are very closely looking at the name this one here is a pro mini this is the Pro Micro, and this one has the micro USB on it. The Pro Minis do not. So, I'm using this one. I'm going to tell you that I like this one a lot, but most people would say, well, that's crazy. I want to go with the one with USB, right? So, that's fine. That's fine. Just know that that is the Pro Micro. You can see it right down here, right? And this one being the Pro Mini. So here's what the deal is though. What you have to do is you have to get yourself either, um, you know, Sparkfront, they have one of these, but they, they have these nice little cables now, um, an, an FTDI converter, right? So before you'd have to get another inline FTDI uh, programmer in, in, in front of this, but now, you know, you can just buy this cable if you like, and it works really pretty nice. So you take this and you solder all your headers on here, whichever way you want, and then you could jab this on. Uh, here's why I like this, you know, buy yourself, by the way, maybe a couple cables because, uh, you know, one of the maybe obvious benefits of USB is that you will always have probably a USB cable around, especially, I, I, I want to say especially the micros because they're so common throughout, you know, all the, you know, cell phones and, and such, right? But you're not going to have one of these around, so maybe buy yourself a couple in case you lose one. The reason lately I am liking this one a lot is one because of the size. It's very small, and not having the USB there that's that's okay too. And maybe if you're into using it in a project and, and you don't want people to maybe be quite as likely to you know be able to reprogram it, then you know maybe it's one more step of security, I guess, whatever. But the real reason that I like it is that all of the the arduinos that we use and you 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 can uh, i'm sure you know uh, understand this as well that that they all have um, a problem in uh like reading the ports so you go ahead and you plug your arduino in and you're programming away and you go to this and they do this and then you change it and then all of a sudden it lost the port so you unplug your totally common thing right we unplug the usb wait a second plug it back in or plug it into a different usb hole and, and then it recognizes and so oh it's your leonardo on port 42 oh wait no it's on port 43 oh wait no no it's gone again right i have never yet had that problem with these and the FTDI cables like this. Not one time ever. And uh, I could tell you going back in class or do anything like that where we're going back to say a Leonardo and we have to deal with that, it does start to feel pretty hokey. Yeah, so be that as it may. So that's why I'm using these. Okay, And whether or not you put headers on here, that is uh, totally up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through you know, hooking this thing up here jab this into here and throw the accelerometer on here and see what we get for a readout. All right, so take your programmer and, or your, your cable, sorry, and just, just plug it into there. And then on the mini here, you wanna look really closely. You know, you, you'll see this is black over, so you line black with black, and then you can plug this in. If you plug it in the opposite direction, it has been done, it doesn't seem to do anything to it. I don't know if I'd say leave it that way for a long time. Now here's the accelerometer that we're going to use. The uh, again the 
LS3DH. Now, if you look this up, this is the number of the accelerometer chip right here, right? So essentially, a breakout board with the addition of a few other things. So if you look here, what they've done is they give us the ability here to do I2C or spy bus, right? So um, I'm going I2C, I squared C, whatever way you want to say it. Um, so over here, here's our, our, our voltage in, and then skip one here. Here's our ground right here, and then you have your clock and your data pins right here and here. Okay, so we'll do that, and that'll get us set up to, to you know, know how to plug it into the Arduino. All right, just know that if you have these, you know, there's a lot of documentation online. You, you can see the pinouts and such. We don't need to have both of these. Now, the thing we're going to have to do in the example file, because if, like everything else, there is an example file here. It has both uh, SPI and I2C enabled so to speak, in the code, and what we'll do is, you'll see, we'll just remark out the lines for SPI that we, well, that all the lines for SPI, because we're not using it. Okay. So here's our power and our ground, so we'll take this, and stick that into, it's hard to look through the, the camera and, and do this. We'll take our ground so our next thing to do here is we're going to take our clock line here and our data line for our I squared C bus right? and we're going to run that over to the board so you're going to have to look at the pinout which I'm sure is going to be sticking up over there if you look on the, the, the pro mini you kind of sometimes you have to look around on the on the on the pinouts to find this but there are these pins right here the one pin above my fingernail there the one closest to these pins here that's the clock the other one's the data so if we come over here I have so here's my clock here's my data my uh, data line is the red wire okay right oops sorry yeah no data is the red wire so come over here we'll jab that right there and then the other one here. All right, so that's it, right? So we've got our power, our ground, and the ice C bus, All right? Then take this, take your cable here. Again, note the direction of the uh, the black pin to the black or black wire to the black pin. Plug it in. This is good. Um, there's not really any indicator on here saying anything, right? Okay, so let's go look at the code. So as always, you'll need to go get a library for this. So you go download the library, install it, put it in the folder as normal. Then you will have access to examples, at least the one from Adafruit you will. So you go here, grab this, get your accelerometer demo. And the first thing you're going to have to do is, if you're using SPI or I, I C, uh, remark out the, the ones. Because like I said, it's set up for both of them. So we'll come over here and knock those out. So we get rid of this, we get rid of that, get rid of that, and this right there. And that is it. So then we're good to go. Now before I upload this, you want to make sure that you have your board uh, selected and any other options in the port, right? So I've already done it, but you're going to come here and you're going to pick board. If you don't have it listed, of course, you have to go to your boards manager and, and get it. So it'll show up here. So I have Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. That's good. Come over here. Typically, we check the port next. So we say, yep, it's it's on port 45. That is true. And this one has some options for which processor you're using processor that you're using and so then you would check that here and the proper voltage by the way be cautious of this or you know I mean depending upon devices you're using these do come in different voltages right so make sure you know which one you're getting before you order all right so we have that there I'm gonna hit upload but then uh, bear with me with the audio because I got to reach over here to the other camera Okay, I got to get over to the other camera and uh, so it can kind of talk from there and watch it flash in. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to hit upload. It's going to send it to it, but instead of 
seeing the uh, the board as usual start flashing, we are going to see the cable start flashing, the FTDI cable, okay? So, here we go. So we hit upload, and then this, not the board, right? So that's it. So that's the, the thing is theoretically programmed now. And so now what I can do is I can open up my serial monitor and I should be getting some output from the accelerometer. Okay. So here's our values. And so as with any sensor that we're using, you figure out what your values are and then now we can use them for what we want to do, right? Uh, so if you maybe just watch this and you can, uh, I don't know, maybe focus over here on the X, you'll see that it's it's hanging out six seven eight six seven eight six, whatever, right? Now as I start to move the accelerometer around, you're going to see those numbers change. All right, I think this is going to work a little bit better now. I got this kind of worked out to where it's on the table in front of me, so you can see this. So. If I take this, if I'm going to hold this, I'm going to hold the accelerometer still, right? So remember, it has nothing to do with the, the board over here. So I'm going to hold this really still. And if you look at the, the values, let's say focus on X for right now, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Notice I'm holding the, the, the board with the, uh, the, the pin out, the pins towards me. Okay, so I'm going to roll it forward and backwards. If I do this carefully, the X value doesn't, well, it's bouncing around, but it's not changing dramatically. If I roll it like this, right, now the value is changing. We're getting six, seven, seven, almost eight. Yeah, there's 8,000 to 8,000 on the other side here, back and forth and back and forth. Now watch the Y as I roll that forward and backwards. So you see what we got. So just like in your drones, in your quadcopters, this is your accelerometer. This is this is at, at this point right now, this is your, your pitch and your roll. So you could use this for a lot of different things. I'll leave that up to you to figure out you know what, what you want to do with it, but it's super handy, right? So now let's take this and we'll we'll close this and we can go to the serial plotter. So yay, serial plotter. That that was such a nice addition. Um, okay, now watch this. So this is where it really becomes visible what uh, what's happening here. So I'm holding it really still. Nothing's moving. The line that you see, the lines that you see here are X and Y. And this is kind of the Z. This is sort of like the velocity of things. So as I move this, you're going to see this change. And if I move it up and down really quick, you can see it change. So I'm going to just roll this or pitch it back and forth. So there is our Y value moving up and down. And so here's the neat thing. If I move this up, it's not just rate of change. It knows, well, it's, it's remembering where it's at. So I can just freeze and hold it here like this and then come down a little bit and then back a little bit. See? So I can draw myself a little happy mountain scene here. Right? Whatever I want to do. Bring it back. Okay? Now drop this down. Now I'll hit some yaw back and forth. The X. Hit that. Did you see I kind of did it kind of quick and so now the uh, the upper axis there kind of moved as well. Right? And if I Kind of see it spike if you if you move this up and down there, right? So, anyways, I think this is pretty cool. So, if you've seen some of my other videos with the lit snowboard, this was from last season. That's what I'm doing with this. So, this I'm going to take this and this, and we're going to jab this into a snowboard. And what I'm going to use this for is a little bit of uh, some effect. So, when you're riding on your snowboard and you're jamming around, you'll have kind of like a slow glow into a, you know, maybe a shock is you, you hit kind of hard, hit kind of hard like this. If you jump up, spin, and you land pretty good, then that trigger right there is going to send like a blast of lights out. So that's fun. This is an LAS 3DH um, $5 accelerometer. This is a Pro Mini, also about 5 bucks. So grand total, maybe 10 bucks or so to get this thing going on. And there's a whole nether world of things you can do with this and all your different kind of robots and vehicles. So thanks again for watching.